The 2024 People for Bikes city ratings is now out and some central Iowa towns made that list. Joining me now is Martina Haggerty, Senior Director of Local Innovation with People for Bikes. Martina, thank you so much for joining us. I would love for you to explain what People for Bikes city ratings measure and what that can tell us about some of the communities in and around Des Moines that made that list. Sure thing. People for Bikes is a national organization and we advocate for more bikeable communities at the national, state and local levels. Uh, so each year we have a program called City Ratings and through that program we evaluate communities all throughout the world on a scale of zero to 100 for how bikeable they are, how what the quality of their low stress bike network is. This year we rated more than 2000 cities all throughout the world, including about 20 cities and towns in Iowa. Very cool. And we have the Ragbury race coming up, which any bike fanatic has probably heard of, especially those here in Iowa. So lots of people probably out training for that as we uh, get into July here. But tell us about Ankeny. I think it rated sixth in terms of specific ratings on that list. And so people there, that's exciting news for them, right? If they want to ride their bikes and get out. Yeah, this year in Iowa, Ankeny came in at number one for medium-sized cities with a score of about 70 out of 100. And it was followed really closely by Ames, which received a score of about 66. And West Des Moines did really well, too. So you've got some great bikeable communities for folks there. And what can these readings, what's the kind of the purpose that you guys put out these readings for? Is it for maybe people to, that are interested in cycling to encourage them to maybe move to these communities or tell them where they're going to have access to trails? Because I'm assuming that is something that people, especially cycling fanatics, definitely consider when they're trying to decide where they want to live. Yeah, whether people are riding for transportation or for recreation, we want them to understand where their community's network of streets and bike paths are and how safe and accessible that network is, and especially how well it'll connect to where they live and places they might want to go, like parks and libraries and schools. And Martina, I'm sure that you are a big advocate, as you just mentioned, for maybe biking to work instead of driving your car. What are some of the benefits, especially in the summertime, aside from, you know, exercise and, of course, personal enjoyment, but to biking instead of maybe taking a car or even walking? Well, sometimes getting a, getting on a bike can get you there faster. It's great for your mental health, have some space outside, a great activity that you can do with friends or family, uh, taking your kids to school or riding them with them to the library or the park. It's something that really everybody can get behind. Again, whether, whether you're doing it just for fun or whether you're doing it to get where you need to go. And it's good for the environment too, right? Absolutely, yeah. Every time you ride your bike, instead of getting in a car, you're helping reduce greenhouse gas emissions, which is something we should all be working on. And there on the screen, you can see uh, the Skunk River Greenbelt in Ames, one of the cities that Martina mentioned. A great, some great bike trails there. So all super important to know and good information for our biking community here in Des Moines. Martina, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.